Hi, Dave Snyder here. It is the third night of July 2018. I got Buster the dog all in my face wanting love. Buster, what you doing, buddy? Yes, I love you. Now go away. Come on. Okay, so anyways. what I <laughs> He's going to walk all over my keyboard. I just know it. Buster. Buster. Go lay down. Go lay down. Go on. Don't lay on the keyboard. Come on, lay over here. I'll pet you over here. Okay, so anyways, what I like to do is I like to show the images I have in my folder of weather that I've saved. And this is an image that, it's already been flipped over. I had a, did an overlay of it already. Basically, this shows a big moon print on the Earth. And if you flip this over backwards and overlay it inside Mare Imbrium or something, it, I'm sure it fits there. I've, I've done the overlay, but it doesn't show really, really good detail. So we'll just keep going through this, and I'll just show you some of my images. Oh, Buster. Uh, he's a good dog. These are just that's a uh, the lunar south pole basically. You have uh, Schrodinger right here. That's an important crater. I call that the Christ crater. The magnetic north right there. I think that's magnetic north. Yes, north magnetic. And this this is moving towards Russia. Basically, Russia, on Google Earth, if you look at Russia, okay, hold on, there's the overlay I did of that crater, or that weather pattern over the moon. I was working on it earlier. Basically, it goes inside Embryum. I don't have it perfect or anything, but anyway, skip that, cancel, go back to the Earth. If you go to Russia, here, Oop. if you turn on the borders of Russia, what you'll see is right here, you'll see a big, see this circular pattern right here? It makes like a circle if you look at it, right? It goes like this, goes around. This is Schrodinger right there. That's This whole thing is Schrodinger. This line that I put here a long time ago, come on, Buster, stop it. Okay, so there's Moscow right here, okay, Moscow. And this is the magnetic north pole right there. And at the speed that it's moving, at the rate that it's moving towards Russia, it, they say everything's moving like 10 times faster, or things are happening like 10 times faster. The way that I, at the rate that this is moving in like 85 years from now, if, because it picks up speed, it's moving faster all the time, they say. It'll, within 85 years, it could be in Moscow. The magnetic north could be there. And this is another place where we have some magnetic properties. We know this is Tunguska uh, Tug in Russia, where they say that you know there was that big impact there. Where it, just, it didn't really do much. I mean, it, they'd say it's, it was big, but it's not as big as it, you know. And plus, they hide it. Look. They hide it in this area underneath this permanent weather, this fog or whatever. They don't let you get in to see any detail. See that? Isn't that something? I guess that's the area that it wiped out, just that little area. That's nothing really. But still, it's magnetic. We know that that has some kind of magnetic property there. And we also have those the recent meteors that have hit Russia, and it's, it's pretty much the same area. This is another place where the Schrodinger Basin shows its pattern in the weather. Right in uh, Mongolia, you can see the curve right there. There's like a curve. It shows here in the weather. It also shows here in the weather at times. I see. I got. I probably have images saved. I just haven't been able to run across them yet. But anyway, this is like this whole pattern right right here. Russia and Siberia is the lunar south pole. Schrodinger goes right here, and the rest of it just kind of fits perfect right in here. So that's what the lines are there for. Another thing I had marked, I guess, was the uh, area where CERN is. I guess this is, that's this area, I do believe. I'm not positive of that, but I'm pretty sure CERN is right in this area. And I just marked that for some reason. Maybe that's where it is. And directly opposite of CERN, if we go directly opposite of here, we just click this and then go around the globe until the line flips. And it should end up by New
New Zealand right there. And we know New Zealand is volcanic and it's also a spot where you know they have the Christ Church, they call it Christ Church. I mean, think about that for a minute. Christ Church and we also have this area where all the subduction is where we have continents that were created here. Some were created here. I think there's like two two areas of the earth that have been really impacted seriously and that's like the Marianas Trends for sure and then we have this area here where you can see a, let me turn this off where you can see the circular like an impact right here I do believe India fits right in here this is a lot of con like South America was right here see the, see this right here see that curve right there that's in South America if you have the right image you can see that curve in South America it's there it's like right here and they don't show it that well in this image but I have other images of South America that you can see it clearly really clear so that's go back to the folder here this is how Africa used to look on Google Earth look how it looks like a watercolor painting really ridiculous they, they went through stages of since I started doing this I mean it's gone through stages to where it, it, it was like this in the middle but when it first started it was really bad the whole Google, all of Google Earth was really bad when I first started doing it we'll, we'll run across some of those images it's a nice circular pattern right there something I saved I thought it was pretty unique. Africa Lake Victoria is an important location it's like a great volcano it was a great volcano you can see Lake Victoria was definitely a volcano 200 miles that's a 200 mile volcano opening right there 250 miles or something like that here's here's where you can see oh wait that's South America I was thinking the Alpha is right here this is the Alpha it goes over the Philippines and in Indonesia at one time it was there and you don't see it in this this map they don't show it of course this is an interesting pattern kind of a kind of ghostly hold on a second <clears throat> okay so anyways just keep going here that's the Aiken Basin this is a big impact that it was hard for me to find where this went on the earth because they don't give you a very good really good detail but I did find it eventually in the weather weather pattern that did match that and it, I didn't work on it very much so I'm not, I don't really remember too much of it I know this little Aiken crater goes somewhere in, in Australia and they have some kind of Aiken Aiken thing there just another picture of the Aiken Basin the Lunar South Pole that's the Aiken crater whatever miscellaneous images this is up by Alaska I do believe an important thing about Alaska that I can point out right here you see this curve okay this is where the um, where they have harp right the high frequency aurora right there that's harp where you see the red right there now take a look at this curve right here this curve is important because this is also right here in the Himalayas shows right the same it's the same exact curve I guarantee it's the same curve Let me turn this off right here see this it's the same thing they line right up this volcano this was a volcano at one time 700 miles that desert is 700 miles long and like 250 wide or something like that but that was a volcano at one time I mean think about it look at the look at the Tibetan Plateau it's like the most massive structure geologic structure on the planet Earth I mean a volcano created it of course it's all volcanic or was and this it may be Hawaii might be the hot spot that this was create where this might have been over Hawaii when it was created because Hawaii is the only active great volcano besides Yellowstone that I know of you know Yellowstone is definitely one of these same volcanoes. It's you know st it's still active, but 
right now, Hawaii is probably the one that, you know, because I know that Hawaii has shown this pattern in the weather, this shape, right? Just recently I made a video about that. But right here, this curve is the same thing as right there in Alaska. That curve goes right here. If you align the, overlay the two, that curve is the same. And that, and these are all great lakes. This here is a great lake. Great Bear Lake. The Great Slave Lake. Okay, and then we got Lake, whatever that is, I can't even read it from here, but. Then we have the Great Lakes down here. So we got all these Great Lakes that come from here all the way up. That volcano, the Great Volcano, I call it, has created the Great Lakes and it goes all the way up to here to Alaska, right next to Alaska, and it puts it right in place. That right there is the same thing as that curve by the at the end of the Himalayas, and this right here is a great lake, and that is the great volcano that's, that I just talked about. And Hawaii, basically, when you look at Hawaii, it's, it is a great volcano. This this does show that, that shape that's in the desert at times. Just recently I made a video about it. I don't know, not recently, but I guess five months ago, four months ago, I pointed that out, and it was a pretty big discovery for me. That I, I always wondered if it was one, if it was a great volcano, and it, and it did show it that day that it was. And you think about this, they call the Pacific Ocean. What does Pacific mean? It means, it, you break the word down, it's pacify, basically, pacif Pacific, pacify. It's basically, the Pacific Ocean is pacifying a massive volcano that's in the middle of the this whole thing is would the whole earth would probably explode in volcanoes if the if the Pacific Ocean wasn't pacifying all of this area. There's you know, you got the Marianas Trench, which is the deepest place on Earth, which means that it's the closest to the core. You know, so it's definitely pacifying that area. And that's why they call this the Pacific Ocean, I do believe. If you break the word down it means something. Atlantic, you know, whatever that means. But anyway, that's uh, got some pretty massive. There's a right here. There's that spot I was talking about. We'll run across that picture, I do believe. We will. Let's see. Get back to that. Okay. So that is the same, and it puts the Great Slave Lake and the and the Great Volcano together. Another area of Alaska where you see the harpering is kind of. I mean, you got to wonder why they put things where they put them. You know, like. Harp. Why is it in that location? Here's another nice circular pattern. That might be. That's not the same one. It's a different one. The same. It probably was the same weather pattern, but it was like a different day. Look at that circle. That's perfect. Beautiful. And you'll see this big circle. It's like a hole in the earth. There's like a hole, a layer of something missing on the earth that's what it looks like when it shows in the Atlantic Ocean anyway these are eruptions under the sea right here next to Mexico they always happen in the same place every year all this stuff is volcanic all around the Gulf of the Gulf of Mexico okay and you look at this this is like a big I don't know it's hard to see it I guess in that picture you have to know it's there. This always shows in our weather. This is, I have this picture backwards, as you can see. It's, it's been reversed. Three hurricanes at one time. I think this is during Hurricane Andrew, during that time or something. Eruption after eruption. There's like a, an eruption. It spins, and this is the spot where they happen. Oh, this is, in, this is in Florida, right? Right off the coast of Florida, right in this area, they got a big volca volcanic area. It's like by the Bermuda Triangle. That's why things disappear in the Bermuda Triangle. You know, if there's an eruption under the sea, and you're in that area, you're gonna, you know, probably sink to the bottom because of the air bubbles and everything that come up, or or whatever. But it heats a column of water and turns into these hurricanes. That's my theory, and I'm I'm absolutely sure that's what's going on. It happens everywhere where there's 
you know, cyclonic weather. And our south pole, you know, it's it's a match of the moon south pole when you reverse it. This is where the devil shows up sometimes. Maybe it'll run across that picture. I don't think it's in this folder. This is supposed to be Antarctica without ice. It's just basically a copy of Australia. It's almost identical to Australia. If you overlay the two, they're almost exactly the same shape. Almost exactly. And Schrodinger Basin goes right there. If you flip the, the lunar south pole over, Schrodinger Basin goes right in this spot right here. And then the whole rest of the lunar south pole fits this, our south pole, it fits it. So it was probably a north pole at one time. Because opposite poles attract, like poles root. There's the devil. See the devil? <laughs> it is in this folder. This is where Schrodinger, the Christ crater, the first time I ever lined up the Christ crater was right here in this spot in Antarctica. Right there in that same same place where you see the devil face. Now if you look up devil in Google Images, you will find that exact, this exact face right here. I mean, I've already shown a video about that. You will see the, it didn't take me but a minute to find one exactly that looks just like this. This is like the devil's face right here. I think I titled the video, The Devil Made Me Do It, or something like that. And this is a, what, the Kepler or something crater that shows in Papua New Guinea, where they're mining all that gold. You know, they got a big gold mine there. The Canadians are there exploiting the gold there. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, shoot, I hope you can hear me. Um, that's the Aral Sea. This is another great volcano. You can see the shape of it. It looks like the, that desert shape, the same as the desert shape, but it's not... You know, it created a sea, but it's drying up now. But that was also a great volcano. And then also the Caspian and the Black Sea and all those are the same thing. They were just more, they must have been there longer to create more of a caldera or whatever. Uh, this is, I think, I was using this around on the Aral Sea here at one time, this picture. The entire Arctic Circle where the moon has sat before. The North Pole, that's why Santa Claus is at the North Pole. And you, you'll see p images or statues of Jesus standing on the Earth. He's standing on the Arctic Circle, standing on the North Pole. Jesus is standing on the North Pole. And then they'll have him pointing up to the moon. So, And he's got one hand down and one hand up. As above, so below, or whatever, you know. He's pointing up to the moon. And he's pointing down to the Earth, right where he stands. And then he ascended into heaven from the Arctic Circle or whatever. That's why you everything's different in the Arctic Circle. Like the pole you'll only find polar bears in the Arctic Circle. White like the moon. Wolves. There's that uh, crater. Right underneath that area there's a mountain right where they're mining large quantities of gold. Just more intense weather. Uh, this is something I was doing. See, this is what it used to look like. And it, it's, it's looked even worse than this. This is just terrible, though. See, this is today, what it looks like. And they blended it all in. This right here actually shows what they're hiding a little bit more because you can see where the, there's... Well, this is not really the pixelated one. I'll show you. We'll get to that one, probably. But you see how the, everything's a big circle. Central Asia is a big circle. And this is just another big circle and there's another one that centers right here another big circle right right here everything's a circle on the earth everything see the curve goes you can see half of the circle but it's a it goes all the way around and so does central asia so does the top of south america there's like two circles in in north america the western and the eastern 
Here's the really pixelated one. This is really when it was shitty. Look at this. See what they're hiding? All they were hiding so much in this. But what they did is they figured, well, let's not make it look like shit. Like we're hiding something. Let's just blend it all together and make it look smooth, and it'll hide everything, and everyone will, won't think anything of it. When it was like this, I could actually see, because when I did an uh, an overlay with this like this, wherever I wherever there was going to be a spot that would be important, there would be pixels all over the place. So you knew they were hiding something. Now you you know they they smoothed it all out and they made it all look, blended everything together so it looks like this and it doesn't really show detail until you get really close in and then when you're really close in you you can't get the you know a big picture really well and what you need is like the big picture most of the time another kind of big circular pattern right there across this is what the entire Atlantic. A lot of activity here in the ocean there off the coast of Africa. This is weather that was missing one day. They were definitely hiding something there. Definitely. And this is not a spot where they usually hide the weather in this, this area. They don't usually do this. There's another spot where they always hide it. And that would be through the Marianas Trench. So just more undersea eruptions here. Of course, those are along the equator mostly. Important spot there. This is the Christ Crater, basically where they get the the uh, Sphinx and everything comes from that. Money comes from that. All kinds of things. Australia, where the gold is. See how it's so red? All the iron content. The bottom of the pit. The land down under. Uh oh. All right, I'm low on memory, so I'm going to stop here, and I'll continue later. Thank you for watching. Till next time.